Hey everybody, this is Brian with Seafoam Official. This is going to be a quick video that answers a question we get all the time is, can seafoam spray be used or applied in a gasoline turbo engine? The answer is absolutely yes. Before we get started, I'm going to show you just the basic difference. If this was a non-turbo engine, we have an air intake booth that draws air from the outside atmosphere and the intake tube would run directly into the throttle body which is right here underneath my finger. This is a turbo and the difference is the air is brought in, it passes, brings up air into an intercooler and the intercooler cooler then delivers the air up through this tube, the intake tube right into the throttle body. So that, that may cause confusion but the ultimate point is a throttle body is a throttle body and how seafoam spray is applied is the same. So the steps as shown here, the steps on the can are all the same. We have the engine running right now, which is step one to heat up the intake. The truck's been running about six, seven minutes. It's time to shut it off. Then we're gonna walk through the process. All right, now we're ready for step two. We got a hot intake. The next step is to loosen the hose clamp that attaches the intake boot to the throttle body. So all I do is I take my screwdriver, I loosen it up, I get in there and pull off the intake boot. And I'm looking right at my throttle plate. Now I have my hook straw. I'm gonna adjust the end of the straw so it sprays right in front of the opening of the throttle plate. Now the throttle plate on this truck opens inward on the bottom side, so I'm going to position my straw at the bottom. I just snug my boot back on over the throttle body. I've got my straw in place. I got my can of seafoam spray. I have a helper. I'm going to start the engine. I'm going to have him hold the RPM at 1500 to 2000. I like 2000. I attach my can of seafoam spray. And I'm just going to spray it until the can's empty. All right, we're all done. A can takes about five or six minutes to go through the whole thing when the can's empty. Just tell your helper to shut off the engine. Now, one thing is this is a gasoline direct injection. A GDI engine has a fuel injector in the chamber. So unlike a port injection engine or most old carbureted engines, there's no fuel washing over the intake valve. So trucks, cars like this have really bad carbon problems. And because there's no fuel to clean the intake valve, you, you need a product like Seafoam Spray to do it. Now, you can find all sorts of instructions or diagrams on our website's how-to instructions page. The last thing we're going to do is let the engine hot soak for five to ten minutes, get the straw out of there, put the boot back on, and just drive it and we're good to go. I hope this was helpful. Until next time, this is Brian with Seafoam Official. Thanks for watching.